What's up, guys? IP Stats Guy here, trying to help you get your five. You know what I'm saying? So, I want you guys to get five, but probability is one of these roadblocks. We all freak out when we start learning a little bit about probability. We're going to talk a little bit about the general multiplication rule. This is and, when we're talking about and, the intersection, the intersection, where they overlap. And then the and stuff you multiply, but it's a wee bit tricky, okay? We're going to talk a little bit about that right now. So, I'm going to give you some examples, and hopefully it'll make some sense, okay? So the first thing we're going to look at is being even. Now look at blue. Look to see being blue and being even. Let's see the likelihood. Probably being blue, we know, we talked about it before. Oh, if you just got in here, uh, these are chips. You have to imagine these are poker chips. There are 10 poker chips in this bag, and I have to reach out and pull a chip out, okay? Five of the chips are red, two are blue, three are green, and they're numbered. So now my question is, what's the likelihood I reach in and I pull out a blue? Well, notice there's two out of 10, which is a 20% chance. Okay, cool. What's the likelihood I pick one that's even? Well, the probability it's even is 5 out of 10 because 5 out of them are, 5 out of the 10 are even. Okay, now my question is, what's it like that I reach in and I pull out one that's both blue and even? Now, the word and, you only counts if both of these things are true. Remember we talked about or? We said if this or that or both, okay? And is only the both. It's only the intersection. So if I say, stand up if you're a female and wearing sneakers. The only people that can stand up are females with sneakers. Females with flip-flops? No. Guys with sneakers? No. Females and sneakers both must be true at the same time. So, if I'm wondering about the likelihood of being blue and even at the same time, let's see what it is. Which ones are blue and even? Nope. No. I mean, no. That's even but not blue. Odd. Even but red. Odd. Even in blue, odd, even in green, oh, only one of them is both blue and even. One out of the 10, so the likelihood I reach in here and I grab one that's blue and even is one out of 10, or a 10% chance. Does anybody out there notice anything interesting about this and this? What's 0.2 times 0.5? Oh, 0 0.10, what's interesting here is the probability of blue times the probability of even equals the probability of blue and even in this case. That's crazy. And this happens, you just multiply and, but this only happens when they're independent. Okay, only when they're independent. What am I talking about? Remember the independent video? If not, here's what I mean. Blue and even are independent because knowing one doesn't change the likelihood of the other. For instance, if I say, hey, what's the likelihood a chip that I pull out of here is blue, you'll say, well, it's a 20% chance. I say, you're right, but what if I tell you it's even first? I'm holding an even one. Now, what's in the bag? Just the evens. Out of those evens, which ones are blue? One. One out of the five evens, which is 20% again. So knowing that it was even didn't change its likelihood of being blue. Likewise, the reverse. What's the likelihood it's even? Well, half, 50% chance. What if I told you it's blue? Well, Okay, well half of the blues are even, so still a 50% chance. Half of the blues are even. So, these things are independent, and when they are independent, it's pretty cool, you can actually just multiply them, and that's actually one of the equations that you can test for independence if this times this equals this. But what if they're not independent? Wah, wah, wah. And that's what we're gonna talk about now, a general rule that'll work for all of them. It's the general multiplication rule. So. Let's talk about the general multiplication rule. Yeah. We're going to look at even and green. What's the likelihood that something's even? What's the likelihood that something's green? Well, let's see. The likelihood something's even, we've seen it enough times. We know it's 5 out of 10. We know it's a 50% chance. What's the likelihood it's green? Well, I see three of them up there, so it's 3 out of 10, which is a 30% chance. Let's see if our little formula works that worked before. Does the probability that it's even times the probability that it's green equal the probability that it's even and green. Let's see. Well, how many are even and green? First, let's find out this guy. Let's see. E, whoops, erase this guy. Even and green? No, even and green? No, no, no. Where are the guys that are even and green? I'm even and green. I'm even and green. So two out of 10 are even and green. Let's see if our multiplication works for these guys. Probably of even, five out of 10, times three out of 10, 
Uh, does 0.5 times 0.3 equal 20%? No, this is 15. They equal 15 out of 100. That's 15%, not 20%. This doesn't work. Ah, so what am I to do? What I'm to do is to solve a puzzle. And we're going to solve a puzzle right now. You're going to help me. I want to figure out how I can make something that works for and when I can't just multiply them. And the reason why I can't multiply them is being green and being even are not independent. How do I know? Think about it for a second. What's the likelihood a random chip if I reach in is even? A 50% chance. But what if I tell you it's green? How many greens are there? There are only three greens. Of the three greens, how many are even two? Most of the greens are even, so knowing it's green changed it to 66% or two-thirds chance. So they're not independent because knowing green increased the likelihood of it being even. Ah, so we need a formula that works for that. So let's try to figure out a little puzzle. Well, I know the likelihood that something's even is one half. I'm going to leave that up in there. And I know the likelihood it's even and green is two-tenths. I'm going to erase this and see if I can put something in there to complete this fraction puzzle. One half times what equals two tenths? Hmm, let's see. Well, one times what is two? Two. Two times what is ten? Five. So if I put two fifths in there, if I... Mo but what's two fifths? Is there something to do with greens? And evens. Well, let me look at all the evens. Hey, wait a minute. There are five evens, and two of them are green. So two out of the five. So that's the number of greens out of the evens. That's saying the probability that it's green given it's even. Remember that conditional? I changed the bag. The only thing that's in the bag are the evens, and out of those evens, how many are green? Two. And there's my general multiplication formula. Right there, that's the rule. The probability of E times the probability of G, now that you know E, is the probability of them both happening at the same time. And that always works. It's crazy. The probability of E times the probability of G given E will give you the probability of E and G. So how do we write up the general multiplication rule? You write it like this. And here's a generic way we show it. We usually use A's and B's. The probability of A, sorry, <laughs> A and B is the probability of A times the probability of B now that you know A is true. And that always works. That actually always works even when they are independent. Remember we started off with independence, blue and even? Watch how that works. Ready? Probability of blue equals 0.2 or 2 out of 10. Probability of even equals what? 5 out of 10. What's the probability of blue, sorry, probability of even knowing blue? Well, if how many blues are in there? 2. How many are even? 0.5. So let's see how this works out. Notice the probability of blue and even is equal to the probability of blue times the probability of even given blue. Why is that true? Think about it for a second. Because they're independent, the probability of even given blue is the same thing as the probability of being even. The likelihood of being even, whether you know blue or not, is the same. So this is the exact same as this, because this equals this. So this is the same as saying probability of blue and Sorry. <laughs> blue and even equals the probability of blue times the probability of even. Because the probability of even given blue is equal to the probability of even because knowing blue didn't change the likelihood of it being even. So here's our general multiplication rule. I hope that made a little bit of sense. It's kind of fancy pantsy dancy, but it works. I hope you have a very nice day. Go get them stats!